lots of uh, action as the term structure is trying to adjust to what's going on with Jay Powell and company. And, and let's be frank here, you know, it's basically been 10 years to remove accommodation. Yeah, it was something big, but come on, how long does it take? You know, listen, I think Jay Powell and company and Janet Yellen, Ben Bernanke, th this hasn't worked out as bad as it could have in many ways. But the point is, we have to stretch it out. It has to take a long time. And the longer something takes, the more issues you can have with outside issues, exogenous forces, different economies, emerging markets, trade issues that could all slowly start taking bites out. Normalization should have begun a while ago. We can't go back in time. Removing accommodation is like putting the patient in the recovery room, but you can't keep them there forever. We needed to remove it. Does it have some hidden meaning? I don't think so. Let's go to the boards. To me, all the price structure, that's an obvious meaning and it tells you things. This chart goes back to 2007. The point of this is quite clear. We had so many key tops before we did our violation of three percent 318 320 318 and some of these bottoms too 317 the point is when we take out 311 and we will at some point is my guess there's going to be a lot of areas between 317 and three and a quarter to stop it so it's not a question of hey tell me where rates are going they're going higher and they're going to make a lot of train stops along the way uh the double bottom in 2012 and 2016 is very compelling. The other thing I think we should take note of, after we made our May 311 high close of the year, the lowest yield close we had is 278. So a real technician would say that you have to be in bullish mode until you go under 278. But there's other clues here. This chart goes back 30 years to 1988. I love this chart. The reason I love it is the whole point of this. Double tops and double bottoms. This market has loved them forever. Double top, big move, double top, big move, double top, big move, double top, double top, double top, double top, double top. And this is the one now that we had on the last picture. And the reason it's so important is because either we're going to have a spike at 311, we almost got there this second time, we got there in today, or it's going to come down, or you're going to take it out. The point is, is that we don't know at this point, but if we should take out 311 before we go under 278, and I'd even make it 295-ish, it could be a compelling upside. It just not, might not be one where we cover a lot of ground quickly.